But what's stopping Indian founders from being the trendsetters, like the ones that say the United States or Israel or Singapore, like that they're looking at India and saying, oh, like, look at what those guys are doing. Let's copy them. Hmm. I think it's just a function of time. It's nothing else, right? Because I think the Indian startup ecosystem, you can pretty much count. Uh, it's almost like 12, 13 years old, right? 2007 was probably when the startup ecosystem really started. And today, and that's one of the biggest shifts we have seen in the 2122, right? The 2122 time period, I keep talking about the shifts. I think it's not just about capital. It's not just about the number of institutions, not just about the number of founders. I think confidence levels of founders to actually try some of this way more has certainly increased. And you will see that this decade, that more founders are going after global markets from day one. And that's not just SaaS, that's other sectors too. And two, you will also see founders come at it more confidently to make global acquisitions. And some of those um, trend setting has been happening in the last two, three years, right? In terms of even Indian companies doing global acquisitions, of course, at much later stage. Uh, so I would say it's a function of the ecosystem and the age of the ecosystem. Uh, and the maturity of the founders and the confidence of the founders. Today, maybe out of the 100 uh, unicorns, maybe there are 10, 15 of them that are global. But I wouldn't be surprised if the next 300, 400, we have at least 30, 40% of them global from day one, not as an afterthought. And the way you build product is very different if you're global from day one. So I would say just a function of time. And uh, uh, we've also seen that trend line, right? In terms of Web3 companies, uh, the nature of building some of these platforms, you have to be global from day one. You can't do it as an afterthought. Your competition is global. A lot of data infrastructure companies, uh, a lot of the uh, companies on you know vertical SaaS, these are all global from day one. You know, one of our own portfolio companies, Bookie, is uh, solving something for gyms in the US. Uh, now, this guy who started it, uh, Vistar, he actually started it as a product for gyms in India built for two years, it just didn't work, completely changed the product, completely changed the angle of selling, and is now building it for gyms in the US. And there's a bunch of other companies, you know, whether that's auto, whether that's insurance, whether that's travel, whether that's a bunch of these sectors which are so much more mature in the US. I'm sure Indians with experience there are going to start building products for those particular sectors, right? Because it's just a humongous amount of capital that's left to be unearthed there.